Good morning, St. Mary's. I'm Dylan. And I'm Isaac. And in student life news, attention PAL's peer tutors. Please note that tutoring starts over each term. If you were tutoring in the fall and want to continue with the same person, please notify Ms. Amon and Ms. Pamelio by email or stopping by the counseling center. If we don't hear from you by the end of the week, you will go back to the general tutor to be assigned to a new peer. And open house is less than a week away. Please let your friends and family know if they have middle school age students to come <coughs> to come and check us out in person between 1 and 3 p.m. on Sunday, December the 3rd. And Black Catholic History Month continues with a new spotlight as November comes to a close. Hi Panthers, it's Sophia from Ministry Team and today our Black Catholic History Month spotlight is on Augustus Tilton. He was born in the U.S. to two slaves, Peter Paul Tilton and his wife Martha Jane on April 1st, 1854. With the outbreak of the Civil War, Peter Paul hoped to gain freedom for his family and escaped to the North where he served in the Union Army and was held in the war. As Augustus grew older, he began to display an interest in the priesthood. His parish priests, Father McGuire and Richard, encouraged the young man in his aspiration and tried to enroll in several diocesan seminaries, but without success. They then decided to begin Augustus's education in theology themselves. Finally, in 1878, the Franciscan College of Quincy accepted Augustus, and two years later, he was enrolled at the College of Propaganda Freedy, um, in Rome. After completing his courses in Rome, Augustus Tolton was ordained on April 24, 1886. His first assignment was St. Joseph's Parish in his hometown of Quincy, where he served for two years and gained enormous respect for many of the German and Irish parishioners. He was later given a parish on the south side of the city, St. Augustine, which later became St. Monica. This would be Father, uh, Father Tolton's parish for life and the center from which he, had, he ministered to all the Black Catholics of Chicago. He addressed the first Catholic Holy Congress in Washington, D.C. in 1889. He now holds the distinction of Servant of God. Thank you. Now back to announcements. And in club news, the service club will meet tomorrow in Brennan 413 at lunchtime to go over activities for December and pass out permission slips. Be there or stay a Grinch. The yearbook editors would like to remind you to check your emails to vote on our best and most and favorites polls for this year's yearbook. Best and most are due today and favorites are due by Friday. Please vote so we can hear your opinions. And today at lunch, the chess club is pondering its next move in Brennan 415, while the National Honor Society is in Freddy 327. Then during A Block, Mock Trial meets in Freddy 325, and next door, CCAT is in 323. And now here's Max with your Panther Athletics. Congratulations to our boys and girls cross country teams for their incredible postseason runs over the Thanksgiving holidays. At the NCS Championship the day after finals, the girls finished second and the boys third, which earned both teams a spot in the state championships. In the NCS meet, senior Annika Punz earned first team all NCS honors by finishing sixth overall. In the boys race, junior Javin Schmidt was the team's fastest runner, placing ninth out of 140 runners. Then at the state championships, the girls, once again led by Annika and followed up by Jing, Sabrina, Alexa, Maddie, Leah, and Uma, placed 12th overall. The boys, led by Colin and followed by Javin, Jacob, Tucker, Kai, Brandon, and Shane, placed 6th overall, running the fastest team time in school history. On their way to 6th, our group of guys beat 7 other section champions and only lost to a small group of teams from, the Southern, from Southern California. Congratulations again to the boys and girls for representing the Panthers so well at state. <laughs> Dodgeball Dodge resumes today with a double header in the gym at lunch. Sean Franklin versus Gemini Dodgers in Game 1 and Saucy Steppers versus Punch Maid in Game 21. Both are elimination games, so the losing team will be gone after this. As a reminder, no food in the gym. See you guys this lunch. And later today, it is a boys basketball triple header as the Panthers host Alameda here on Hagler Court. That's it for sports. Now back to Dylan and Isaac. Thanks, Max. Today we wish a very happy birthday to Mateo Morales, Minerva Rodriguez, and Miss Fisher. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to you. And headlining the menu in the Shea Cafe is some chicken adobo, pulled pork sliders with curly fries, ham or turkey BLTs, and toasted pumpkin seeds. That's it for today. Have, Have a, a great, great day, St. Mary's. Mary's.